Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. First I just wanted to say welcome to all the new subscribers that we picked up over the last few months. And I'm sorry there hasn't been an update for a while. It's been a really crazy year, but I'm very excited about what's happening now. In the last few months I quit my job, which I didn't expect to do. I then got married. And now I've started my own video production company. But enough about that, let's talk about the car. It's a gorgeous day here in New England, and I'm on a great twisty road. Unfortunately, there's a little more traffic than I would like. But somehow it's about 65 degrees in November, so I'm taking advantage. And the topic for today is why sports cars are so important it seems like sort of a ridiculous thing to say because if you think about what's important in life, what's important to the planet, what's important to humanity, sports cars don't rank terribly high. However, most personal things wouldn't score very highly there either. And while sports cars may seem like a total luxury, and from a financial standpoint, they are. In another way, for some, they're as essential as oxygen, as essential as exercise, diet as love. Today is sort of an off day for me. I had a long shoot yesterday and I've got a long shoot tomorrow. It's been raining for the last week and a half. I've been slammed with work and today was just like an insanely gorgeous day. And I looked outside and it was like on Ferris Bueller's day off. And he says, how can I be expected to go to school on a day like this? And when you have that moment and then are able to seize it because your equivalent of a Ferrari 250 GT California is at home and in your garage and to know that that experience awaits you where there's a time away from phone calls and away from computers where you can get out in a sports car and get away from everything and be in the elements and have an experience that isn't necessary, isn't about just the day-to-day -day normal things that we have to do in order to sustain the level of existence that we've grown comfortable with and do something that's not, not because it's excessive, but because it is an expression. For me, and for what I think is so great about the experience of having a purpose-built sports car for which there is no there is no real need, there is no use aside from an expression of joy, an expression of experience, the feeling of adventure, a sports car that requires you to be at least a reasonably competent driver such that a successful or a thrilling journey home has something to do with you as a driver and not just the machine where you are, you're working together. You know, most of us don't have horses anymore or things like that. We don't have our, but we can still have a companion for the road. It can still be special, it can still be unique. And it doesn't need to be the fastest. In fact, I don't think having the fastest sports car available is even desirable for the purposes that I'm talking about now where it's about just getting out and driving and having having an experience, enjoying life, taking a moment to stop and look around because life moves pretty fast. And if you don't stop and look around, you could miss it. And uh, I really think that's true. You know, none of us have a lot of time. I think that despite the fact that sports cars in a way are completely unimportant, they can also be critically important. It's a way of recharging. It's a way of being one with something. It's a way of nowadays doing something physical and mechanical in order to accomplish a job. This is where the Elise comes in and it's such a great car. It's such an athletic experience to drive it. It's a kind of exercise in its own right and I feel when I'm out with the top down on a gorgeous day like this and, and I'm the one putting the car through the corners and I can feel everything. I return home refreshed and I don't think that's an experience I would have as much in a car that did more for me or did everything for me. I think, I think there's a place for those cars on a racetrack 
or if I'm just about lap time or just about zero to 60 or something like that. If it's really about the driving experience, you know, that's sort of like making love. And I don't think too many of us are trying to get that to be over more quickly. We usually take uh, pills to extend that. And so the fastest zero to 60 time kind of doesn't make a lot of sense. You need it to be fast enough so that things happen. If it's too slow, there's a, you need some motion in the ocean, but the balance is what makes everything come together. Sports cars are often an expression of, they capture a moment of time from a technological standpoint, from an artistic standpoint, from a society and cultural standpoint. They capture a little bit of that, the spirit of exploration I mean, you can just look at Elon Musk launching his Tesla V1 Roadster into space. And there is a difference between, you know, sure, from, a, an atomic, from an atomic point of view, there's not much difference between a Tesla Roadster and a block of carbon or a block of steel or aluminum or whatever, you know. But there is a difference when you know, sports cars have something in common with rockets, with space, with hope. I've always represented possibility. And I think that is why, in spite of the fact that, you know, nobody needs one, that everybody needs one. You know, I think life is too short, and too much work to just do everything, you know, in, in such a if you, if possible, you know, just say, you know, sometimes you just got to say, you know, what the hell. It's not just about having something. It is about having something great. And the Lotus Elise is something great, even though its price tag isn't huge. At the same time, its price tag is high enough that it hurts a little bit to get one for most people. And if it doesn't hurt a little, at least a little bit, then I don't know if it's worth having. You know, you know in order to really enjoy something, it's gotta be sort of, no matter what it is, there are all kinds of classes of vehicle, you know, but in order to really enjoy something, to have something really be special, in a way it needs to sort of punch it needs to be a no compromise choice in some way or another. And the Elise is a no compromise choice. It does a thing that nothing else really does. You know, you can look at virtually any other car in the market um, and it may do something different. It may be faster, maybe faster or better looking or whatever, but for the purpose of the Elise, is built and what it's meant to do there really is, there's no substitute for what it does so listen to that there's just something so great about having the special car the special car that isn't used every day that you keep it special that when you look at it, you get turned on and excited to drive it. So could you use the Lotus Elise as a daily? Sure, you can use, I mean, you could use anything, you know, if you didn't care what happened to it uh, or what the driving experience was like. I mean, there's, you know, there's, there's no real reason you couldn't, you know, daily a caterum. I mean, people daily motorcycles and that's, so that question is sort of, you know, it may be a bigger pain depending on what your life circumstances are than others, and it may get damaged more easily than others. Um, you know, but to me, that's not the point at all. And I don't know, I guess I, you know, I may not have realized that before I bought the car, because once you own something that is special and purpose built, you sort of realize that you wouldn't want it to be your daily anyway, because part of it is when you can look forward to it, and it's not always available to you that when it is, you appreciate it all that much more. And the experience is that much better and it's not the average daily grind 
the days that blend into each other like palindromes you know it's the whole point is to you know most of our days are very similar to each other but when you have a sports car and there's a window of opportunity for a launch you get to change course and short circuit the daily routine and I think that is where we stop and and get to experience and remember what it is to be alive and not just going through the motions of you know everyday life and there is something about having a car that looks like a spaceship that looks exotic that is part of that narrative it's part of it becomes part of your story and with the Elise it's just how you feel when you drive it so this is why sports cars are important this is a qualitative sort of review just on the topic of why sports cars what's the point I don't think it's just about going fast it's about the whole package and combining that with what it feels like to go out on a gorgeous drive and be in control of something that is as capable as you are and we all get to be a fighter pilot for a little while so it's worth the money I haven't posted in a few months because the car needed some work and I was so busy that it took me a little while before I could get it into the shop and then once it was in the shop it took a while to get it sorted out as well as a very large check but the car is back in order everything is working beautifully and despite the fact that the winter is coming I'm about to do two upgrades to the car that I'll be sharing with you on the channel be replacing the steering wheel and fixing the sticky airbag cover as well as installing a new Larini exhaust and I'm going to do some comparison videos there so you can hear the before and after sound of the exhaust that's something that I think is uh, a lot of people wonder about and there's not a lot of great resources on the internet for that so there is some great content coming to the channel in spite of the fact that the driving season is almost over and I really appreciate everyone who's still enjoying the channel And let me know if there are topics that you'd like to see covered. And as always, please subscribe, like, and comment in the area down below. Thank you for watching.